So you've got your control arm all nice and painted, looking all pretty. It's time to start putting parts back on it. Um, I'm going to start with the upper control arm ball joint. This is pretty straightforward. The ball joint goes in like so. Make sure you line up the bolt holes right here. You've got this dust cover and retainer assembly that goes over top of that. Or on the bottom side, I guess I should say, because that's the bottom side. And then you have these screws and washers that are going to go in there. I'm not sure exactly what the washers are for because it doesn't say. So I'm just going to assume that this is going to go here when you bolt this on there. I don't know why there's four of them. That's a little crazy. But here, I don't think the instructions specify. Let's see, secure some leads, control arm needing D-bolts, and lock nuts supplied. As illustrated, this shows them going from the bottom. Okay, cool. So, you're just going to slide these in through the bottom, make sure all the holes are lining up. So you've got four of those bad boys. Slide those into the hole. Can you even see what I'm doing? No, of course not. Okay, here we go. So slide these four screws in, or four bolts, whatever you want to call them. And secure them into position with these locking nuts. There's a torque rating on there. Let's see, what do they say? 10 to 12 foot-pounds. I have read online that these have a tendency to strip with the uh, DriveWorks uh, ball joints. This is the Moog ball joint, so it might be a little better. However, I would not exceed that torque rating because you don't want to break these off. You definitely need these bolts to hold these, uh, hold this ball joint in position very well. You don't want, obviously, your ball joint wobbling around in there. You're putting the ball joints in there to solve problems like that. So there you have it. You've got this on. The next step is to start putting your energy suspension bushings in. I'll show you how to do that in a moment after I torque my four bolts.